I just wanted to get the hell out of my town. I wanted to leave with reckless abandon. I didn't care where I ended up, as long as I saw as much as humanly possible. I never thought I'd end up doing Broadway. How loud are you gonna get? The plan would be to be as loud as it's tolerable. Yes. My heart was in my throat because I thought, what if this doesn't work for them? My fear was that it was just gonna be sort of absurd and, and uh, not relatable and, and corny. What we're gonna try and do is try and get some more coverage in here. Did it feel a hair too fast? The subtext is you could be coming out at the television set with George Bush in front of you. My thing is stories and working on emotional responses, which sounds really... I was going to say wanky, but that's probably not a good word to use, is it? Take a little bit more of a drop. I got notes, baby. We were able to create a dialogue I think I've been waiting to have my entire life. The one where you write. And it didn't yeah. happen in rock and roll music, it happened in theater. That's the thing that blindsided me. That was fucking sick. Welcome to the Gypsy Rope Ceremony for opening night on Broadway of American Idiot. It was really strange to see Donald Trump. I was like, what the fuck are you doing here? Really? One, two, three, it's one time! Yeah. <laughs> You're a firebird. Five, ten, go. This is a holy play! Okay, hold. Oh. Let's not make it too intense. We're gonna run this whole sequence. By the time I suggested that he be in the show, I saw a little light behind his eyes, a flicker of excitement. He said, oh my God, are you serious about this? I'm shitting. <laughs>